at the end of February, Serbia still had no uh, confirmed cases of COVID. And then um, Dr. Vladimir Nestorovic, together with the president uh, of the country, Aleksandr Vucic, um, uh, publicly in the media said that this virus only exists on Facebook and invited people to go shopping in Italy. Then at the beginning of March, meaning that some week after this happened, we had the first confirmed case in Serbia. Uh, nine da days afterwards, the state of emergency was declared by uh, President uh, Aleksandar Vucic. Um, then by the end of March, we had cases in which uh, from the national um, telco, telecom operator, uh, SMS messages were sent to the citizens by the crisis committee saying that we're looking at Italian or Spanish scenario that a huge number of people will be will be um, infected uh, and then plays along the line of somehow uh, playing the discourse in this direction of panic which definitely is not something that was favorable to to the state in which most people were at the moment by the beginning of May we saw introduction of regular state uh, it was speculated that the biggest reason for that was to be able to proceed with the election campaign, which uh, actually actually happened. And then soon afterwards, we saw a thousand screens around the president of Serbia holding the first um, virtual rally, where the faces of supporters of the of the Serbian Progressive Party were uh, surrounding the president in an empty echo. Uh, echoing uh, chamber in which he gave his his initial speech. He had a few of those. So we had, as um, North Macedonia did and, and as Montenegro had, parliamentary uh, elections during uh, the, the basically period of, of, of COVID crisis. Um, bearing in mind the results, it, it, it shows how how the political landscape in Serbia is shifting towards something that's quite closed. But uh, during the, the campaign, we basically saw no campaign at all. Uh, there was practically uh, no uh, political messages that were stream, streamed uh, uh, strong, either from the side of, of, of the opposition who was in a way boycotting the election or from the side of the government with any pro, 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 program messages or something. We ended up with a parliament that's basically exclusively uh, um, a government without without opposition without uh, opposition parties. So um, it's going to be interesting few years in in, in in Serbia when it comes to to democracy in general and of course digital digital and all other rights. Mm -hmm.